Circuit bending has a long history and there's actually some really interesting books on it. I encourage you to check those out. Because it is going to be attached. So we're going to kind of gently move it aside. I'm not at this first store I went to. I'm now in the games section. Sometimes these games can be really fun. You can find cool stuff. Like this is where you might find like speaking spells, which are probably the a most A lot of the time what I'm looking for is a group of stuff. Like I think there's good stuff here. So that means that if you do something wrong. Now, let me preface this by saying this is unlikely. Um, hey everyone, so uh, in this class we're going to be talking about circuit bending. So if you don't know what circuit bending is, basically what that means is we're going to take uh, something that already exists, we're going to, uh, some kind of electronic sound making thing, we're going to open it up, we're gonna connect some extra wires. That's gonna give us a couple extra switches and knobs. And uh, we're gonna make that thing make crazy sounds that it was not intended to make. And with that, we're gonna do some really cool musical stuff with it. Um, so throughout this course, I am going to circuit bend something. Um, I'm gonna start off by showing you my big circuit bending project, my big keyboard, which is this one. So on this keyboard, I have about a hundred bends. There's about 50 switches here that I've added, about 50 switches here that I've added. All of those extra switches create tons of extra sounds not in the keyboard. So I've opened it up, I've added all kinds of stuff, and then I put it back together, adding all those switches. Now what we're gonna do in this class is gonna be slightly smaller scale. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this SpongeBob SquarePants keyboard and I'm going to add these four switches. Now, as you might be able to tell, uh, I always film this intro lecture after I've done the whole course. So when we start the course, these switches are not gonna be here. Uh, they're gonna be added later um, throughout the course. We're gonna open this thing up, we're gonna connect some wires, and we're gonna add these switches that are gonna make really cool sounds out of our SpongeBob SquarePants keyboard. So I bought this at a thrift store for a couple dollars, $3.99 to be exact. I'm gonna walk you through that. I'm actually gonna take the camera into the thrift store and uh, covertly film myself shopping so I can tell you what kind of thing to get. Um, I'm gonna do all of that in this course. So we're gonna go from beginning to end, from selecting something to circuit bend, every step of the way uh, to ending up with the finished product. And then at the very end, I'm actually gonna make a track using this thing. And it's the track you're hearing right now. Um, that track is composed 100% on this keyboard. Uh, my SpongeBob SquarePants keyboard after some slight modifications. So if circuit bending freaks you out, it doesn't need to. It's actually really simple. I was shocked at how easy it is it, once you know a couple basic principles about doing it. Um, it doesn't take any knowledge of how electricity works, how circuitry works, anything. It's really all about experimenting. So we're gonna open it up and then we're just gonna start experimenting and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So I hope you join us in the class. It's gonna be super fun. Uh, we go from having nothing to ending up with this cool keyboard. And if you follow along with every class, you will end up with this really cool circuit bend toy of your own. Uh, so let's jump in. Let's jump into the course and get started right away uh, with our first basic things that we need to know. I'll see you inside.